Okay, I'm at, looking at another project for Emerald Management. Shelly Murray called me out to Lakewood Shores in Redmond at 3845 175th Avenue Northeast. Uh, this is a concrete scope of work and it's for a staircase. Um, I'm going to give you the dimensions now and then I'll step out and show you what it looks like. Um, I also have a, an aerial map that shows the location of where this is is that too so it's that building f and <clears throat> it's right in the very front of their unit so i've got the measurements here five by five four by one four by three and three and a half by four eight inch depth on the front of the step but then it transitions to um five inches and that's on all three here this one down here, it's all flat, so it'll just be a straight 5-inch on the 3.5 by 4. And then the face of this is 8 inches, transitions to 5. 8 inches, transitions to 5. So the objective here would be to saw cut right in front of this existing step. That concrete step sits on top of this top step here. I'm thinking we can leave that and leave the concrete that's underneath saw cut out in front of this step and then when we go to form this back in we can form it at the same height back here but then raise this up just a little bit so it'll um, pour up against this concrete here a little bit that way we're burying the existing concrete that's underneath this little step here you'll see what I mean when I get out there all right, uh, broom finish. That railing is bolted in. We would have to unbolt it and put it back down in the same location. Okay, so I came in the entrance, main road. You drive in, come back the mail, come past the mailbox kiosk, and on the right hand side, near stalls 124, 124A, and 124B, you've got unit F. It says it on the building there. Okay. Uh, for staging purposes, I know there's some room down there that we can use for staging. Uh, we can also block off this front area here uh, to do the concrete work. All right, so on these steps, I was just showing you the photo and the dimensions of what we got here. So um, you can see how that concrete step is sitting on top of this concrete. So they basically poured the sidewalk in. And then they uh, poured another concrete step right there for this metal railing to uh, sit on top of. I'm thinking let's leave that alone. Saw cut right in front of this. You know, get as close as we can with our saw cutter. And then bust this out to here. Take this out, go around the corner. And um, we might, yeah, we'll have to take that all out. So we'll chop that all off right there. And then when we go to form this back, we'll form it just a little bit higher than this surface up to here. We'll still be okay. Water will still flow downhill like it is right now because right now it is sloped. Sloped this direction and this direction. So if we can leave that alone, pour up against it, overlap that piece that sits there, I think we'll be good. Um, that means... If we do that over on this end, we just got to make sure that uh, um, we take in consideration this step here. So, uh, now I'm trying to figure how that would go. It would mean we would have to raise this up down here just a little bit as well and maybe slope this down in order to keep the correct angle on this railing. All right, but I gave you the dimensions, which should work. Put that step in, this step, this step. It has like a, a straight shot here for like 12 inches, and then it does an angle cut right there, and then comes down to this sidewalk here. We'll have to do a saw cut right down here at three and a half feet, or excuse me, four feet from the face of the step out to here. Take that out, take that out, take that out. Put it back as broom finish, and... I think that's it. I don't think they want us to do all of this. They didn't say. 
Okay, as I was talking, I had to push pause because in the email it said 230 square feet. Well, that's because they not only want to fix that, but they want to fix all of the sidewalk down here. So that means we'll have to take all of that out, get down to here, take this section out. They have a total of 230 square feet, so I'm going to give you some measurements here in just a second. Okay, so from where I measured earlier on that correction there, it's 18 feet down to here by three and a half feet. And then in this section right here, we've got eight by five down here in this area, down at the bottom here. So, so this area right here is an eight by five in this section here. What we would do is take out right by the asphalt here uh, we would cut in front of the staircase here and then here in this section it drops down two steps and you can see that's all it looks like it's all poured as one I would imagine it's only poured thick right here and then as you get up into here it's a lot thinner so this could be this could be an interesting cut here in this location. Um, it might be something where we can get, I don't know if we can do this or not. We'll have to talk about this as a team. But this step right here is all poured as one, this whole wall. You can see there's concrete on the edge there, but if I would almost be willing to bet that as you get up into here, it tapers up and it's probably only about five inches. So maybe we could get close to the stair case right here at the step, try to saw cut across, saw cut up, and then rip this all out, but leave the step plus this area that's over here and just try to take this out right in this section right here on this eight by five. Take this out five inch depth, put back broom finish, We'll have a line that comes straight across, or at least to the step, you know, and then it comes all the way over right in front of the railing. That would be my only guess on that. It looks like these steps might have been poured. I'm not sure if they were poured separately or not. It kind of looks like it might have all been poured at the same time. So, maybe instead of taking out that step, we just consider doing like I said earlier and go right in front of the step. If not, then um, we can adjust it here before we uh, propose it to the customer. Okay? Giving you a look from both angles here. I think that's it. Uh, any other questions, let me know. I showed you areas for staging. I think it's something they want to do this year. Um, I believe there's also some, a water source here. If we need a water source. All right, thanks.